filmmakers in Bloomington are about to release their latest feature film tomorrow. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how they'll be getting movies done for the foreseeable future. Even after Cut. work continues for Pegasus Pictures. It's our second global release of a feature film titled Miss White Light. You ever watch someone die? The story of a woman who connects with people as they pass away. But she's so awkward she can't connect to anybody else. If someone wants to pay for your services, you do the best you can. The Bloomington Company shot the movie in Indiana. They release the film tomorrow. Anywhere people buy or rent movies. Just as theaters begin to close for good. It was crazy to see Regal Cinemas shutting down. Albeit not surprising to John Armstrong, founder of Pegasus Pictures. I think COVID has just kind of fast forwarded what's already in the works for the film industry. A migration to on-demand services, an exchange of the silver screen for the small ones. It removes that communal experience of seeing movies. Yet it generates opportunity for small studios like Pegasus. There definitely is like a content void right now, I think, um, because a lot of productions shut down in Hollywood. Where post-production is generally done remotely, movies must be shot in person. What <laughs> the hell did you say? Pegasus is in the process of figuring out how to proceed with other films. Kind of follow the NBA's lead and create that COVID bubble. But how does this happen? Currently, I am on six productions right now. Jacob Melnichuk and his medics are COVID compliance officers for filmmakers, Pegasus included. We operate off of a zoning system. Uh, so we take talent from production and we put them in one area. We take um, crew and we put them in another area. With every member tested three times a week, and nearly everyone in a mask. Following visor protocol, uh, if you're in front of talent that is unable to wear a mask. While it may slow down production. I'm not afraid. It's how they will stay alive. All right, guys, this is a wrap on day 15. In Bloomington, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now, Miss White Light was a selection last year in the South by Southwest Film Festival. This is its first global release. It will be available on most video on demand services, and it's available now on many of those services, in fact.